सो आई हैव स्टार्टेड अ सीरीज वेयर आई विल कवर डिफरेंट टिप्स एंड डिफरेंट ट्रिक्स दैट वी कैन यूज ऑन कैडेंस टूल्स एंड आई विल कवर देम इन वेरी वेरी डिटेल सो यू कैन यूज दिस टूल वेरी एफिशेंटली सो इन दिस वीडियो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट सो लेट सपोज यू आर डीलिंग विद मोर देन हंड्रेड और टू हंड्रेड नंबर ऑफ पिन राइट एंड दे आर सिम्बल्स इफ यूल गोइंग टू क्रिएट दैट सिम्बल इट विल बी रियली यूज राइट एंड वेरी हार्ड टू अंडरस्टैंड इफ यूल गोइंग टू रीड दैट स्कीमेटिक लेटर इन फ्यूचर सो द सोल्यूशन इज वी डिवाइड द कम्प्लीट स्कीमेटिक सिम्बल इन टू मल्टीपल पार्ट्स एंड विल यूज दैट अकॉर्डिंगली फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ सिम्बल फॉर अ प्रोसेसर then i'll divide its interfaces into different part for example uh, uh i'm going to use emmc somewhere i'm going to use uh, ddr interface somewhere similarly i'm going to use sdio i2c uarts i want to club all the usbs together all the vccs and grounds together right so instead of placing these 800 900 number of pins in a same schematic symbol it's really difficult to read right plus there is a huge offer going on on EMA EDA website so i highly recommend just go there and if you want to use cadence tool because because i'm going to prepare hundreds of videos in coming months and uh, it's always good for a hardware designer to know multiple tool especially these altium and cadence so uh, just visit that website and uh, yeah with that said let's roll the intro so here we use a term called heterogeneous parts and here i'm going to take an example of uh, opamps so it has two channels that means it has total eight number of pins and multiple uh, inverting non inverting inputs plus multiple outputs on this same package so i'm just going to create two parts of that so it's a very simple example and you can use same uh, tutorial for create any number of parts for different and complex symbols so as you can see if i'll just go to the pin out okay so let's suppose this one and on this you can see on first uh, first pin we have one out and uh, on seven pin we have two out then we have uh, first channel inverting and non inverting inputs similarly for 6 and 5 so the symbol generally we use for opam is this right so i'm just going to create a same symbol and there will create two separate part so let's suppose we want to use one part let's suppose part a i want to use it on schematic page number 1 and i want to use another part on different schematic page right so using this method or using this tool you can able to do that so let's open uh, capture cis and i'm just going to create new part here and uh, it would be ic underscore here i always enter manufacturer part number of the chip as per our ipc guidelines and as you can see parts per package i'm going to create two parts okay and you can also edit that later and here i instead of homogeneous so in next tutorial i'm going to talk about homogeneous here uh, we can we have to select heterogeneous parts and press okay so as you can see here we have created a part u question mark a right and if i'll go to view package so you can see two parts are created u question mark a and u question mark b right so now just close it okay so now we'll going to create the part a symbol and as you can see from the data sheet so part a will be first pin will be one out okay so i'm just going to place first pin and this will be pin name will be one out and number will be first all right okay and now go back to data sheet and two will be negative inverting sorry uh, inverting and third will be non inverting right so this will be 2 this will be 3 and more and this will be 
minus i n and this will be plus i n all right now we are going to create a triangle around that so for that i'm going to use line right so here you can see and mode i have to select it from here right save now here to end mode this should be somewhere here and if you want we can change the font size to 5 it's too big right so we'll just make it 5 okay now it is fine and uh, that's it right so this is part a now another thing that i want to do i want to place uh, the vcc and ground on the same part okay so if you want you can just shift it uh, you know somewhere here or it is fine to place it here right okay so for that what you have to do you can just see here which pins are vcc and ground so eighth pin is vcc and fourth pin is ground so what i will do i'll just place another pin which will be eight and it is vcc and that i'm going to place here and this will be ground i'll change its name so this is pin number four and it is ground all right now i'm just going to text ch change the text again so just change it to five five and it's nice to place it uh, somewhere here okay and vccs i'll use one here ground here and to make that connection what we'll do we'll just place line so just zoom in and mode all right so you can see this is first part and if you want you can just uh, make these lines uh, short because it's too long but yeah i'll just leave it as it is now we'll get going to create another part which will be u question mark b and we'll just press ctrl n to switch to another part here what i will do instead of creating a part from scratch i'll just copy it and change the pin names and uh, delete some extra information all right so this is not required let's delete it delete it okay this will be two out and pin names uh, sorry pin number is seven right and for noting six and five okay so this will be seven and this will be six and its name will be yeah name you can leave it like this in, in and because we don't need to use two and three here right we know that okay if you want you can use it and this is five all right so both of the parts are created now we have to enter the value information so here we'll use the same part number all right and that will be reflected on this as well okay so it would be nice if we place it here because here we have enough space all right so yeah this is how we can create multiple parts and similarly if you want you can as add more parameters as i told you on 
some of my videos so yeah and see